بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ویلکم یو ٹو لیکچر نمبر نائن آف دا سیریز آئی ہوپ یو مسٹ ہیو ہیڈ اے ونڈرفل ویک اینڈ اینڈ آل یور نیئر اینڈ ڈیئر ونز آر سیف اینڈ ہیلدی ویل اسٹوڈنٹس ایز اے انڈیکیٹڈ ان دا لاسٹ لیکچر آف دا پریویس ویک دیٹ وی شیل بی فوکسنگ آن بک تھری from Monday. Our today's lecture will be covering play number one from book three. Before we get going with the play, in this slide I have highlighted the important aspects that you need to focus at from the portion of plays. Well, if you recall to your memory the scheme of papers I gave you in the very first lecture. This portion of book 3 carries 15 marks. 10 marks for the short answers and 5 marks for MCQs or synonyms. While liner questions are also equally important because they would help you memorize the MCQs and any other multiple choice questions. So therefore these are the elements that you need to keep in mind and now we are going to start play number one well gentlemen the title of play number one is heat lightning which is written by robert f carroll this is a very very important play because you know there are only three plays included in your syllabus for first year out of which all you have to do is to answer five questions from the given eight questions and this lesson is very important as far as the short answers mcqs and vocabulary is concerned so i would request you to keep watching the following slides with intent Well, gentlemen, heat lightning is also categorized as a melodrama. And in a melodrama, the characterization and the plot of the play is not considered as important as the action of the play itself is. Well, anyhow, there are the following three characters taking part in the action of the play. They are rather named very ambiguously. The first character of the play is called a first man, whereas the second character is called as a second man, and the third character of the play is a young pretty girl who is 23 years old, and the whole play revolves around the incident that happens with her at late night. Well, students, this is a very important slide being displayed on your screens right now. Well, in this slide I have given you the storyline of the play. Well, Heat Lightning is a one-neck play that has all the ingredients to be categorized as a suspense thriller. There are only three characters taking part in the play. First man, who is 35 years of age. The second man, 30 years of age. And a young pretty girl, who is 23 years old. Well, the play has mystery, horror, suspense, uncertainty, and scary weather which make it a melodrama. Before I present you the main events of the play, let us try to dig out the possible themes of the play so that it becomes easier for you to comprehend the story. Well, the first apparent theme of the play is Never judge a book by its cover. Number two, appearances are often deceptive. 
and the third and very important theme is perception often overrides the reality now you have to dig out these three themes out of the play when you read it now i move on to the story in brief well a girl happens to see a mother trying to mm, dispose of the body of a dead woman the killer runs after the girl to kill her also in order to escape from the killer the girl somehow manages to reach a bus station situated along a deserted highway a handsome man about 35 years of age was already present there the man behaves very gently and tries to put her at ease and by doing so ends up winning the trust of the girl after some time another man about 30 years of age comes in the girl becomes suspicious and does not trust him as she believes that he perhaps was the actual killer when a time comes to make a choice she refuses to go with the second man and decides to stay there at the bus station with the first man considering him her helper no what a irony the man whom she had considered her helper t- turns out to be the actual killer and tries to kill the girl at the end of the play who eventually is saved by a dog that comes there to take shelter against the inclement weather well gentlemen this was the story of the play it is a very interesting play you will enjoy it thoroughly once you go through it well dear students this is the most important slide of today's lecture this actually covers all the multiple choice questions from play number 1 well the first question in this slide is where is the bus station situated number 2 how many benches are there inside the bus station number 3 how many doors are there inside the bus station number 4 what is the color of the light hanging from the ceiling number 5 what does the man pick from the seat number 6 what is hanging up from the center wall number 7 what is the age of the first man this is very important number 8 what is the age of the girl this is also very important number 9 what is the age of the second man you can also be asked that what is the age difference between the ages of the two men number 10 what has slowed down the bus number 11 where was the girl coming from number 12 what was the man pulling out of the car number 13 what did the girl see pressed against door pane number 14 what does the second man want to get out of number 15 how can one overcome one's fear number 16 what could they hear at a distance from inside the bus station number 17 what did the girl drop by running away from the killer and number 18 who saves the life of the girl from the killer well this is a very important slide and it is aimed at making you read the whole lesson very carefully well students the last slide of today's lecture covers the mcqs and the true false statements well the first statement on this slide is 
the girl was coming from option a the party b a tour c a hill station d a station well the right option is the party next statement is the girl was afraid of the policeman a friend a killer a person well c option is correct a killer next statement is she thought of reaching the house but her car broke down the brakes failed the car ran out of gas the road was blocked c option is again correct her car ran out of gas next statement is she saw the man dragging out of his car a option the cops of a woman a sack a statue a dog well a option obviously is correct she saw the man dragging out of his car the cops of a woman cops kehte hain dead body ko next statement is why did she circle around and around into the wood a option is correct to escape from the killer next statement is you could not think of something that might give them a lead means get a clue d option is correct that might give them a clue next statement is she saw in the flash of lightning a dog a bus a car a man's face this is an important statement a man's face she saw a man's face pressed against the door of the room next the difference in ages of the two men is 5 years of course the age of the first man is 35 and the age of the second man is 30 so quite naturally the age difference is 5 years next statement is if people were smart they would not be out on a day like this on a holiday on a tour on a night like this of course on a night like this well the second segment is you have to mark the statements true or false number 1 the car ran out of gas about 2 miles from here it is false it is not given how many miles the car ran out of gas from number 2 she was too frightened to tell the details of the incident true 3 the girl went to the police to report the matter no false number 4 second man wanted to save himself from the storm true number 5 first man wanted to go to town for business false he had to go nowhere because he was a killer he was looking for the girl to kill her also next they heard the hum of motor in the distance yes true well gentlemen there are three statements that has been not included in on this slide i'm going to read them out and their right options well the first is the bus was late due to the storm the bus was late due to the storm well the next statement is she could not remember the description of the killer yes it is true and the last statement is she bolted the door before the man came near yes this statement is also correct well gentlemen that was the first lecture from the play we are going to conclude play number 1 in two lectures the next le- the next lecture is going to round it off i hope you have got the story and all the questions that might have taken birth in your mind with that i'm signing off thank you gentlemen